Gasoline or electric? That is one of the many decisions that consumers are facing in today's market. Each have their own benefits, but Mercedes-Benz is embracing both of them and giving customers a choice between the all-electric EQE SUV or the gasoline-powered GLE. So what do you gain or lose by choosing one over the other? Well, it won't be passenger space. Whether it's the EQE or the GLE, both have very similar interior dimensions. In fact, they both have similar amounts of headroom and legroom across both rows of seats. Unfortunately, what you will lose by picking the EQE is the third row seat option. It's only this GLE that has it. Another area that you'll lose some space in the EQE SUV compared to the GLE is the trunk volume. The EQE SUV has 520 liters behind the rear seats, while the GLE has 630 liters behind the back row. It's the same story when folding down the rear seats. 1,675 liters versus 2,055 liters respectively. But one area where the EQE SUV makes up some ground is with the screen real estate. Not only does it have a larger and standard 12.8 inch OLED touchscreen, but you can also option this electric SUV with the hyper screen. This spans from one side of the dashboard to the other and measures 56 inches in length. The MBUX hyper screen consists of a 12.3 inch LED driver instrumentation display, a 12.3 inch OLED passenger touchscreen, and a 17.7 inch OLED center infotainment display. The single 56 inch piece of glass that encompasses the three screens is scratch resistant and incorporates haptic feedback. The GLE's infotainment screen is not as large at 12.3 inches, but just like in the EQE SUV, it displays a responsive and easy to navigate MBUX infotainment system. While these two SUVs have different interior designs, you won't be missing out on convenience features regardless of which one you choose. Both of these SUVs can be equipped with soft Nappa leather upholstery, climate comfort front seats with massaging functions, four zone automatic climate control, 64 color ambient lighting, panoramic sunroofs, foot activated power lift gates, Burmeister surround sound system, and many, many more options. So that's a look at their interiors, but what about their exteriors? Well, starting with the GLE, it has a more traditional boxy shape. However, if you don't like it, you can get it as a coupe SUV. On the other hand, the EQE SUV is only available in this one shape, but it was designed like this so that it cuts a clean of a line through the air as possible for efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, the EQE SUV has a driving range of between 378 kilometers for the AMG version and 433 kilometers for the EQE 500 version. This EQE 350 has an electric range of 407 kilometers. Power outputs also vary depending on which trim level you choose. 288 horsepower for this EQE 350, all the way up to 617 horsepower for the new AMG EQE. The AMG version can accelerate from a stop to 100 km an hour in a blistering 3.7 seconds. And because the EQE SUV is electric, torque is instant regardless of which trim level you go for. But don't feel left out if you decide to go for the gasoline GLE. It too is available with a variety of powertrain options. You can have it with a turbocharged four cylinder, a turbocharged six cylinder, a high output six cylinder, a plug-in hybrid, or a handcrafted bi-turbo V8. Just like in the EQE, power outputs vary from a modest 255 horsepower in the GLE 350, all the way up to 603 horsepower in the GLE 63 AMG. Although the GLE doesn't have the snappy and instant acceleration of its electric cousin, it does not require any longer than five minutes to refuel. This makes the gasoline powered GLE a little bit more convenient on long family road trips. In the end, it comes down to your needs and how you plan on using one of these two SUVs. If you take a lot of long family road trips and you need the extra space, then the GLE is your best bet. But if you drive mostly in a city environment and want a tech-savvy interior, 
then the EQE SUV is the one you should be looking at. Either way, the best thing is you have choices. If you'd like to know more about either of these two SUVs or would like to test drive them yourself, please don't hesitate to contact our knowledgeable product specialists at Open Road Mercedes-Benz in Surrey. Thank you for watching and see you next time.